hi, 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 and hi. It has been forever since I made a video, even though not really. It's been like two days, but it still feels like forever. I haven't written any beat poetry and like read it. I, oh, I've been so busy, guys. Oh my god. So right now I'm making a quick video um, because today was my day off and I spent it like, I got up and actually, um, like, I watched an episode of Wilfred, which is a new TV show. I don't, you might have heard of it, you always, like, Google it. It's kind of silly. I kind of like it. Um, and then I went and did Pilates with two of my friends from Parkside, because we're all kind of back in town, so it's kind of cool. And then I went downtown, and I meandered because I got a new baby. This is my new camera with this lens it comes with, and then I get another lens with like we bought a, a package deal thing um, and I'm getting it on Saturday because they didn't have it in the store so I went on an adventure for the first time and all those pictures are in the end of summer album on Facebook that I have because it's the end of summer and I had to go on an adventure with my camera and use it um, so that was fun and I wandered and I drank coffee and I read a lot and I like underlined things in my book and you know did some cool things I still have to put your letters in the mail but I will. Um, so it means that they'll be kind of being sent your way starting tomorrow. So you'll probably get them like Thursday. They're kind of thick. Um, remember these are the ones with the epic secret that I've been talking about for a while. But so yeah, these are kind of old and I'm really sorry that it took me so long to write. And I've just been, I just, I just, it's just been crazy. And I miss like my Ohio time and I miss you guys. And last night we were talking about Almost Maine at this birthday party for my best friend um and I was just like Ohio ACTF I miss it so dearly um I'm trying to think if there's anything cool in my journal to show you guys really quick while I have some time I don't even just a little bit I already showed you that I already talked about that um I showed that in a video I don't remember if I like I don't know um I, d I put in the quote, turn on the faucet, wash yourself with the emotion, or something, whatever it was that was in that video, didn't it? Um, then I wrote a little bit about the farmer's markets are so full of happiness, fresh, raw, beautiful. Um, then I kind of reflected on the girl who, um, that, who I had the memorial for on Saturday. And thinking about that, um, like, I just wrote... I'll read this to you guys really quick. It's it's pretty. Um, I remember the day I found out and didn't believe a word of it on Facebook. I remember the wake. I remember our director acting as a papa to the entire broken theater department. I remember your funeral. I had pink hair, a black shirt, and a tutu just for you, and your family appreciated it, the color, the essence of you. I remember only thinking about your love, your pure love, those hugs exuding warmth. So your flip-flops were stapled to a table. You were too young, too lovely too sweet. I remember starting school with a class assembly, just us seniors, to talk about your death. I remember what made me lose it, the henna on your hand still, in your coffin. I hate that word. Henna made it Hannah, made it really you. And your love is never forgotten. And so we had a balloon release, and I was like, so not environmental, but so terribly beautiful. <laughs> um, then the 28th was, was yesterday. Sunday, wow, only yesterday I said, coffee, work, headache, losing contact with Ohio, but I toast refused to let fully go of them. Um, tomorrow, new word of the week, which I haven't come for the new word of the week, so we gotta work on that. Um, I said, I drink too much coffee, and I don't eat enough, but I love the way I look, I love being this way. Um, but I do eat enough, I just, yesterday, I didn't eat enough, whatever. Then, <laughs> three X's one day, it was nice, great even to see all of you, like a reminder of the fact that I'm lovable, actually. Um, then I said life lesson number one, two, three, two body pillows equal a bed. <laughs> no canopy, because I drew a picture of a bed with a canopy. <laughs> and then, so that's my journal, it's not super exciting, and some of it's just some weird stuff. But let's see the few things that I have in here. Really fast, I swear to God, it'll be so fast. So fast! Um... This is, okay. You take girls, for example. They're copying their moms in magazines and everything to know how to act around guys. 
I mean, it's not like in the movies where girls like assholes or anything like that. It's not that easy. They just like somebody that can give them a purpose. Girls like guys to be a challenge. It gives them some mold to fit in how they act, like a mom. What would a mom do if she couldn't fuss over you and make you clean your room? And what would you do without her fussing and making you do it? Everyone needs a mom and a mom knows this and it gives her a sense of purpose. The thing is, some girls think they can actually change guys. And what's funny is that if you actually did change them, they'd get bored. If they actually did change them, sorry. They'd have no challenge left. You just have to give girls some time to think of a new way of doing things, that's all. Some of them will figure it out, some later, some never. I wouldn't worry about it too much, which I thought was interesting. This book is really interesting, The Perks of Being a Wallflower by Stephen um, Jabowski. I don't know. It's, it's a, little, a short, it's like an easy little read. Um, we accept the love we think we deserve. Let the quiet things put, let the quiet put things where they are supposed to be. Enjoying silence. Um, oh, when I write letters, I spend the next two days thinking about what I figured out in my letter. I thought that applied to us pretty, pretty well. Um, <laughs> this is where he gets high. It's really funny. Um, but it's not like a could cool quote or anything. Here are some cool ones because I have like marked pages. That's always a good thing. I guess Zen is a day like this when you are part of the air and remember things. I thought that was beautiful because that's how I like to look at my day. Oh. If I have sex with someone, I would want to hold them. Like, hold them after, he's talking about. I love Sam. It's not a movie kind of love either. I just look at her sometimes, and I think she is the prettiest and nicest person in the world. So that was a good one for me. Old pictures look very rugged and young, and the people in the photographs always seem a lot happier than you are. It's just an interesting book, very observational of how people are, you know? I really think that everyone should have watercolors, magnetic poetry, and a harmonica. That's my favorite, my favorite one from this book. Um, uh, I have a little bit of time. I thought that all those little kids are going to grow up someday, and all of those little kids are going to do the things that we do, and they will all kiss someone someday, but for now, sledding is enough. I think it would be great if sledding were always enough, but it isn't. Just, just, just lovely little, little things in this book, and I'm, on, I'm not that far into it. But there's not a whole lot to it, so I guess I'm like halfway. Um, so yeah, oh, I wish, I mean, I'll update more tonight, hopefully I can write a beat poem or something, and throw some more inspiration your way. I miss you guys terribly, I, I in this book too, um, Hashtag is the father of this, this kid who is writing it. It's all done in letters that this kid is writing about his high school experience. Um, his dad's family is all from Ohio, so they constantly talk about going to Ohio. Like they go to Ohio for Christmas in this book, and I was like, "Da! Ohio is everywhere! Like it's crazy how it's everywhere, and like almost Maine is everywhere, and you guys are just everywhere. Songs are everywhere that remind you of you guys. I'm wearing the pants today that says it was one of those great nights. It was in Ohio, like my soul." Ohio has my soul now a little bit. I have a lot of soul, so it's okay. Ohio's a little bit. Maybe Ohio's a horcrux for me. Yeah, possibly. I think this is where the video should end.